Hello, in today's video I will um, show you how you can get uh, data from an oscilloscope. So in my case it's the DS1054Z. The goal is to get this. So I connected it uh, to LAN through LAN, sorry, to my local area network. Um, it worked out of the box, so I can show I can show you the settings I had. So these are the settings I, I had. I have. Um, I will close this page and then. It doesn't work through USB because there is a firmware uh, bug. Then I went to this website. I followed these steps. So you update the um, repos, I think. Then you add some software, clone the, the repo, the DS remote repo, CD into it, and then compile it. And then you can launch it by using DS remote, which I did here. Um, then you can go into settings, choose the LAN setting, put your IP address. All of this is, of course, explained here. I tried the USB connection, but it didn't work. So, uh oh. This is what you get, and this is crazy because first you can turn knobs here. If you can, you can see the result here. Um, you can. Uh, what else can you do? You can change add the channel for example oh and what you can do is change some settings as well and then also save the data so you can save the screen waveform which I already did you get the file that is an EDF and it seems like the EDF format is a time series format an open time series format used for a number of uh, European data format, used for a number of uh, time series like electrocardiograms or different medical um, usage. I didn't manage to open it, but it looks like it's doable with the software, the proper software. Uh, what else? Can we do? We can take a screenshot. So if we save a screenshot, we can choose where to save it. Uh, it looks like this. So it's a screenshot of what the uh, oscilloscope sees. We can, for example, change some setting to um, display. Oh, I don't know what this is. Dots instead of um, interpolated lines we can remove the grid and this also happens on the on the oscilloscope and this is really nice this is very very cool voila i think that's all i had to say